Hi everyone, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I just wanted to sort of shoot this as a uh, bit of a test run for a proper video, but I'm here in the lab uh, with my trusty tablet um, and I just wanted to try and film a little bit of a tutorial slash uh, run through of soldering a 1206 component. So that's a tiny little resistor is, is in the case here. I'm going to that I've got the laptop behind me here that can take stills from the microscope, so I'm going to do that to show you what I'm doing at each step. Um, but without a, a nicer camera zoomed in there, we won't have uh, real time because the uh, video, I guess, is not working at the moment with uh, how my laptop is currently set up. So I'm not sure why, but yeah, let's uh, let's get going. I'll, I'll run through quick, quickly, kind of the process or, or things that I'm going to use. Um, We've got the components over here in these little spools. Uh, if you haven't seen these before, they're a, a open source print available online, SMD magazine components, or sorry, SMD component magazines that are available on Thingiverse. Very cool. Uh, shout out to the creator of these. They're incredibly useful and you can color code them very nicely. So there's our 10K um, resistors just ready to go right there. Um, Secondly, we just got a very standard Weller iron. It's got a pretty fine tip. We'll see that in the stills. Um, then we got this Amscope microscope, which helps us with the assembly and the inspection part of it. Um, then for cleaning, we just got some isopropyl rubbing alcohol and uh, yeah, just some general flux in a pen. Um, I got this solder out here. It's uh, lead free from Loctite. Good stuff. It's 0.4 millimeter, which really helps with the tiny components. Um, so we'll get that sort of set up there. And uh, let's give it a quick whirl. I'll try and get my phone uh, as another angle here. Handy, just to have many, many recording devices. And the fun part of being in an electronics lab is there's always one of these. And you can hold your phone. Um, so I'm going to probably pause and uh, set that up. So we've got another angle here now. Uh, you can see the board and uh, the SMD little beak I guess is another component we're going to be using. It's currently resting on the part there. Um, so I can take a look in there. Yeah, we should have a couple of views going on this now. I'll, I'll grab a capture here and I can show you what it looks like through the scope. We have the SMD beak just resting. R5 is the uh, resistor we're going to capture there. So we may as well get started. First glitch, I guess the camera's not too happy. Uh, we're going to get started here. I'm going to pull a uh, 10K resistor out of the little magazine here. When you pull the plastic out the top, the resistor comes out the bottom. So I'm just going to place that roughly where we want it there. Oh, get up there. Um, now I'm going to take a little bit of flux and I'm actually going to have to move the board out from under the microscope here. I'm going to dollop a little bit there where R5 is. And now this might look like a lot, but it is good. So I'll take another capture here so I can show you what that looks like. And I'm just going to take the resistor and for style points, make sure the numbering on it matches the uh, numbering on the board. That's very important. Gonna pick that up and we're going to take it into position, push it down, and kind of coat it with flux at the same time. We'll get a capture of that. Hopefully, you can see that as well. The component's now in place. I'm going to move the beak over top of it. Now, the whole point of this thing is just to apply a little bit of weight down on the component. And now, if I look through the scope, I can just fine tune where that component is relative to the pad. And that helps just make sure I can get it exactly where I want it for soldering. Now it's in place, it's covered in flux, and it's being held in place. I'm going to just check that the uh, soldering arm tip here is, oh, let's see, it's not too happy. Where is it good? Yeah, just make sure it can be tinned or is tinnable. It's not covered in dirty ceramics or messiness. Looking pretty good, so now I'm gonna come in here. This part I'm a bummer, or I'm sad that I can't really show you a better angle. I'm gonna put in a little whoopsie 
Happy Daisy there. I'll get a capture as soon as it's finished. So you can see the whole area from that capture, at least the whole area around the um, component. The flux is all molten, and I just dumped in a little bit of solder once it had all got hot enough. And I'm coming in from the side here because it gives me a really good contact area with the pad, so I can really heat that area up. Same thing on this side. Harder to see this one because of the beak. Quite enough material there. Shoop. Another capture there. And that's the other side done. So, if I pull the beak off now, take a capture, you can see how the uh, flux is still sitting all over there. And uh, maybe from this shot, I can pull this up a little bit to where our component is there. You can see there's still quite a bit of flux around it, but we still got. I think a pretty nice flow of solder. So now onto the cleaning stage. I'm going to try and just relocate you a little bit here. So cleaning, we've got a little pop-up here with iso alcohol in it. So this uh, top moves and you pump it and a little bit of alcohol comes into this little tray at the top. So I got that and I got my trusted acid brush here. So all I'm going to do is just dip that in there Hit it up with some isopropyl. We're kind of just trying to agitate all the flux out of the way there. So it's way and clear of our component, and we can get back in there to inspect whether it's good. So now that I've hit that up quite so much with the alcohol, I'm going to grab a wipe. These standard kind of like little free wipes and I'll wipe down that area and that should get rid of all the flux is now gone we're going to toss it back under the scope here if I can find it I can have a look at what I'm looking at here if I readjust that that's a pretty sharp image there I'll capture that one now you can see uh, on the screen at least how it's sitting it's shifted up quite a bit, so it's uh, compared to the R5, it's too far to the left, uh, but not awful. And this, uh, it's harder to see with the camera, but the sort of flow of the solar each side is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's not crazy shiny now that I see it under here, but it certainly passes for uh, what I'm building now. So I think that's a a nice one so I should watch it maybe the flux the flux was a bit in the way there it was hard to see but uh, when it was being held under the beak it was a bit crooked now uh, rotationally it looks very good and it's not overhanging the pad so I'm happy with that a uh, little run through of a 1206 component I hope that was interesting and uh, yeah I want to try and make this into a more official video but I just couldn't and help but try and make a little spin-off one. So I'm going to grab all of these things and feed them back together and hopefully edit something that's uh, kind of uh, interesting to watch.